Hello everyone, my name is Eike Schneiders, I'm a PhD student from Olber University and on behalf of myself and my co-authors Anna-Marie Kenstrup, Jesper Kelsko and Michael B. Sko, I'm presenting our paper called Domestic Robots and the Dream of Automation, Understanding Human Interaction and Intervention. Robots are increasingly becoming a ubiquitous technology, found in a variety of settings such as industry, tutoring, the service sector or in the home. The domestic context is the context in which people are most likely to have their first encounters with robots, yet little research focuses on the interaction with commercially available robots in the domestic context. With this study, we contribute to the HCI and HRI literature in two ways. Firstly, we increase the empirical understanding on domestic robots and how they are integrated into existing household routines, but also create new ones. And secondly, we identify opportunities and design implications for, ena for enabling improved automation using robots in the home. Since I won't have time to elaborate in great detail on everything in the paper, I invite you all to read it. In order to collect in-depth data, we performed a study involving multiple qualitative methods. We recruited 27 participants, representing 24 different households. During the recruitment, we focused on finding a varied mix of households representing different housing sizes, number of floors, different robot types, as well as, as well as different degrees of domestic robots familiarity. We used three different approaches for the data collection. The first one being online interviews. This was primarily due to the countrywide lockdown due to COVID-19, which didn't allow the physical data collection through home visits to continue. The second approach were contextual technology tours on location. Here, not only the robots, but the entire infrastructure used to interact with it were discussed and demonstrated. Lastly, in order to get impressions from novel robot users, we deployed a hybrid floor mopping and vacuum robot to three households to 10 days each. The robot deployed supported remote interaction through both voice interaction as well as remote interaction through an application but also co-located physical interaction with interaction on the robot itself. The data collection resulted in roughly 19 hours of audio material, which was transcribed. Over 220 photos and small video clips provided by the participants, as well as digital and physical diary entries from households participating in the robot deployment. Using thematic analysis, we coded the transcribed interviews, resulting in a multitude of codes such as automation, new routines, or remote interaction. Our data analysis led us to three themes, namely work routines and automation, which covers observations in relation to the change of behavior in order to facilitate automation using the robot, domestic robot automation in the physical environment, which is related to the additional need for adaption of the environment to make it more robot inclusive. And lastly, interaction and breakdown intervention, which focuses on the user behavior in relation to interaction and at times very creative ways to extend the existing infrastructure to prevent or recover from breakdowns. Due to time limitations, I will briefly present theme one. The first theme titled Work Routines and Automation covers observation observations made in relation to the introduction of new routines and the fragmentation of current ones in order to facilitate efficient task automation in the home. The observation was quite new for most participants who, on purchase of the technology, expected it to be plug and play. The manual task completion, like the lawn mowing or the, the vacuuming, was described as one coherent task, where obstacles were removed or pushed away while performing the task. Similar potential maintenance was typically completed directly as an extension of the primary task. These tasks were with the introduction of the domestic robot divided into three separate tasks, namely preparation, such as decluttering the floor or the lawn, the activity of the vacuuming or lawn mowing itself, as well as the maintenance, which was not necessarily performed directly after the robot operation was completed. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm open to questions.